I'll guide you through how you can download the Minecraft Bedrock Launcher. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's do this. The first thing we need to do is go and open up the Microsoft Store on your computer. And you may be thinking, I don't think I have this app, but you should do. Every default system on Windows should have it. So go to the bottom and tap on search, and then just type in Microsoft Store, and it should pop up. As you can see here, it is at the top. Once the Microsoft Store launches, make sure you've gotten signed in with your Microsoft account. To go and do that, go to the top right of the store. And as you can see, you can see my initials there. You can go and click there and then press sign in. And don't worry if you don't have an account. If you go and tap on sign in, there will also be an option to go and create one. So do that, it's free. And then once you've done that, you need to go to the top of the store where it says search apps, games, movies and more. Tap here and type in Minecraft just like so. So if you already own Minecraft Java, then this means you can go and access Minecraft Bedrock for free. However, if you do not own Minecraft Java, then you need to go and purchase it now and then you can go and use Minecraft Bedrock. If you already own Minecraft Java, then what you need to do is go and click on the Minecraft launcher and go and download it and install it. And if you don't already have it, then what you need to do is go and get this option here, Minecraft and Java Bedrock Edition for PC. As you can see, it's £25 or around $30. So what you need to do is press buy and go and enter your payment information and then you can go and get it. However, I'm in the case where I already own it. So that's why I already have the Minecraft launcher. So you can go and download this for free. But then you need to log in with your account, which you've already paid for. So all you need to do is then go and tap on the get button and it will then download. And then you can go and tap on play and then the Minecraft updater will start and we can go and start getting the launcher. Once the launcher is finished updating, it will then automatically load and you'll be asked to either go and log in with your Microsoft account or Mojo account. You should have gone and migrated it to a Microsoft account. If you haven't, you may be asked to down here. So yeah, I'm now going to go and log in with the account I've already purchased before. If you've already got an account, you'll go and log in and you'll then see a screen like this and you can then go and press there and then Minecraft is going to go and launch. After you've signed in, the Minecraft launch will then load and you can go over to the left hand side and tap on Minecraft for Windows and then go and tap on install. And then what you can do is choose the install location, tap install and Minecraft for Windows or Minecraft is also known as Minecraft Bedrock is then gonna go and start downloading and installing. So you just need to wait for this to finish and this button here will then turn to play. And you can also go and play Minecraft Java as well. So if you guys found this useful, please consider leaving a like. Peace.